Hi, hello friends. Uh, I am Professor Vagmadi Bia. Today we will discuss the topic on crop production technology of uh, black gram. Uh, black gram is also called as woodid or uh, the wood bean. Uh, next one we can see the botanical name uh, that is being a uh, mungo and the family leguminaceae or the peplinaceae or the fabaceae and the origin of black gram from India. And then uh, next one that is uh, uh, geographical distribution of black gram that is most uh, important uh, black gram growing countries are India, ba Bangladesh, Pakistan and the Burma and extensively grown black gram states are the uh, Madhya Pradesh, uh, then Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and the Uttar Pradesh. It is among state Madhya Pradesh ranks first in terms of area production of the black gram then economic importance or the uses of black gram the black gram is the one of the most important pulse crop grown out uh, throughout the world or uh, as well as in india and it is consumed in the form of dal whole seed as well as split pulse the husk and unhusk seeds this is a different forms of the pitan that is uh, especially black uh, black gram it is in the form of dal or the whole seed as well as the split pulse so there it may be husk or unhusk then it is a uh, chief constant of for the preparation of papad and also for the bari which will be mixed del delicious curry and also used for the preparation of dosa then uh, idli that is from black gram seeds or uh, in the, the, the dal uh, making the uh, flour, flour uh, it is converted into the powder and for, makes the dosa and the idli the black gram or odi the dal is also used in the preparation of halwa and the imarati this is an important product prepared from the odi dal then also it is your nutritive powder especially for the milch cattle after harvesting uh, whatever the remaining plant parts basically you, it can be used as a uh, fodder for the milch cattle then also be uh, it can be used as a green manure crop then uh, woody plants uh, possesses deep root system which binds uh, soil particles and thus prevent the soil erosion then woody seeds contains about 24% protein and the 60% carbohydrate, 1.3% fat and the, it is the richest among the various pulses in the uh, especially phosphoric acid being 5 to 10 times richer than the other pulses. This is the economic importance or the uses of black gram. Next one the classification. Uh, there are the, the, the two types of the, the black gram species that is being a mungo uh, uh, variety in Niger and that is black color early maturing and the uh, being a mungo and uh, variety viridis uh, green color. It is a late maturing. These are the two important species of uh, black gram. The soil and uh, climatic requirement uh, or ecological conditions for especially cultivation of black gram. That is, uh, in, in terms of soil, uh, the black gram does uh, well uh, in heavier soils such as black cotton soils because uh, this is a deep rooted crop. And it can be grown on all types of soil, ranging from sandy loam to heavy soils or heavy clay. Uh, Low soils, then uh, loamy and slightly heavy soils are the best suited for the wood cultivation. Then pH range should be 6.5 to 7.5. Then climate, uh, black gram is the tropical crop. Uh, it requires hot and humid climate. Then also requires the warm weather, then cloudy weather and high temperature at flowering tends to result the poor seed set and the optimum temperature uh, required for growth and development of the black gram that is 27 to 30. 2 degrees Celsius. Then varieties, uh, there are different types of uh, uh, varieties of black gram that is Panth Woody 30, Panth Woody, uh, Panth Woody 19, then Narendra Woody the 1, PDU 1, then Panth Woody 35, MASH 414, MASH 338, then PDM 1, Sindha Khadao 1-1, then TPU 1, TPU 4, TA 1, uh, TAU 4. These are the different varieties. Uh, here uh, you can see there are some uh, photographs of uh, Important variety that is TP4, then this is a uh, PDM1, uh, and then and this is TP1. Then Panthwood is uh, 35, Sindhakada dash 1 dash 1. These are the different uh, uh, varieties of black gram. Then you can see the next point that is cropping systems, uh, especially in black gram, there are different uh, uh, crop rotation. There are different examples of crop rotation that is being a uh, black gram as a leguminous. Uh, uh, it will be restore the nitrogen uh, and then the, it will be provide to the uh, succeeding crop uh, that is uh, in rugby season that is maize, flour, wheat, potato, sugar cane. These are the ideal examples.
of the crops which will be suited in the uh, after harvesting of the black gram um, field of the plot in inter intercropping system the, the system is where the two or more crops uh, simultaneously uh, grown over a same piece of land over a same period of time with this uh, with the distinct row arrangement that is concept of intercropping system as the black gram is a uh, main crop belongs to uh, in a leguminosity family as a legume crop uh, it will contributes especially the nitrogen supply to the uh, supplementing crop for the uh, major uh, that is minor crop that is intercrop uh, that is sorghum pgnp uh, maize uh, permillate and the sesame these are all uh, are the crops uh, which will be suitable with the help of uh, along with the black gram as a intercrop uh, and this is a photograph of black gram plus sorghum and this is a black gram plus uh, maize next point there is field preparation as the black gram is a deep rooted crop it requires deep plowing followed by two to three harrowing operations are required to make the id seed bed that is coarse seed bed or the well pulverized uh, seed bed and the seed sense sowing uh, this is a major uh, points which will be uh, especially for cultivation of black gram that is seed rate 12 to 15 kg per hectare then spacing required for black gram 45 by 12, uh, 20 cm and sowing time during June to July, then sowing day 3 to 4 cm. Sowing method broadcasting, drilling, and dibbling. And the seed treatment, uh, especially in the black gram, there is a fungicide uh, treatment uh, that is thyram or captain at the rate of uh, 3 gram per kg of seed cells to be prevent seed as well as soil borne diseases. And the seeds are also treated with the rhizobium culture at the rate of 25 gram per kg of seed. It helps to the, uh, enhance the atmospheric nitrogen fixation. Sim by symbiotically and also the improved germination of the seed. Then uh, nutrient requirement are the manures and fertilizers. Manures uh, that is 8 to 10 tons of FOM or compost per hectare should be applied at the time of final land preparation or before one month of sowing. As the recommended dose for uh, black gram as in uh, 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 that is 20, 40, 20 kg NPK per hectare or 20, 60, uh, 40 kg NPK per hectare as being a uh, black gram is a le leguminous crop it requires uh, less quantity of nitrogen and the more quantity there is phosphorus is required for uh, especially the leguminous crop because it, uh, it will contribute the especially for uh, root nodulation activity and the increasing the rate of uh, nitrogen fixation and uh, hence there is a uh, to be uh, uh, to apply the uh, NPK fertilizer and that is full dose at the time of uh, sowing only Next one, the water management. It is a black gram is a correct season crop. Uh, if rains are issued uh, properly or timely, then there is no need of irrigation. If rains are delayed or late, then uh, apply irrigation at critical growth stages, uh, such as the pre-flowering stage and then flowering stage, then pod development and the seed formation stage. These are the different critical growth stages of black gram. And uh, next point that is weed management. Uh, with respect to the uh, reduce the uh, critical period for weed crop, crop com competition, the black gram at the initial stages are very sensitive for the uh, crop weed competition. Hence, there should be followed the cultural practices, that is one hoeing, and the two to three hand weeding operations are required to make the crop weed uh, free for environment. And if the weeding operation is not possible, then should apply the herbicide like fluchlorine at the rate of 1 kg active ingredient per hectare in 1000 1, liter of water as the pre-planting or PPS spray. Then uh, plant protection, that is a pest and disease. Especially in black gram, the different types of, the, the, there are different uh, pests, uh, uh, that is uh, Eric caterpillar, leaf hopper, zassis, then podbore. These are the important pests. Uh, among the pests, uh, that is podbore is the major pest. That is in case of green gram as well as black gram, uh, the similar pest was uh, found and the major pest, that is podbore. Our control of this, uh, or the other sucking paste by the spray with the, uh, the spray the crop with the monocrotophus uh, 36 AC at the rate of 1 liter in 1000 liter of water. Then collect and destroy the paste infected plant parts. Then spray the crop with the uh, melethion 30 AC at the rate of 1 liter in 1000 liter of water per hectare. And then spray uh, the crop with the uh, endosulfan 35 AC at the rate of 1 liter in, eight, uh, in uh, 800 to 1000 liter of water per hectare. This is a paste uh, 
uh, of the pest and their management of the black ram. And next one, the diseases. So there are different types of diseases. That is yellow wind mosaic virus, deep curse, shielding rot, then circus coral spot, anthracnose, and the charcoal rot are the different diseases. This is also the uh, similar to the desires in case of uh, discussed in the green gram cultivation. But the diseases of green gram and black gram are the uh, same. And then for control measures, they grow additional varieties and they spray the crop with manpuja or zainib at the rate of 1 liter in weight and liter of water per hectare. Next one, the uh, harvesting and yield. As the pulses are very sensitive, especially for the delay harvesting, it is shattering and the shedding of pods as well as seed takes place. This uh, means there is need to be harvest at the correct maturity. Uh, before that, we can see here the signs of maturity that is yielding of leaves, dropping of leaves. Pod becomes greenish to blackish or uh, black in color. The seed becomes the hard and tough, and in color of seed becomes light black to dark black in color. Picking of pod should be done as the pod matures and the plants are cut close to the ground level with the help of seeker. As the harvester material should be dried in the threshing floor under sun for 2-3 to three days and then threshing should be done by means of uh, beating with the help of sticks on the uh, threshing machine. Then thresh material should be cleaned properly by means of winnowing operation and the clean seeds are dried under sun and the uh, pack into the gunny bags and the finally yield obtained from the black gram that is 15 to 20 kg per hectare. This is a previous topic about the crop production technology of black gram or the woodith. Thank you.